is Wolverhampton nil, Manchester United one, Manchester United blowing up the big bad wolf. Unfortunately, the big bad wolf wasn't able to huff and puff towards us. Nope, he wasn't breaking our house down today. Guess what? We huffed and puffed into your house, and your house fell off hard. We are made out of straws today, Wolverhampton. Manchester United collecting three points today. A brilliant result for Manchester United to bring them into the top four of the league. A, a, a way to celebrate Sir Alex Ferguson's birthday. Happy of 80, 80th or 81st birthday. I'm sure he enjoyed that. But Manchester United doing what's important. Collecting those three points. And those three points is what we needed. Although the match today, in terms of the first 45 minutes, Manchester United starting off a bit decent. You know... Creating chances as well, but unable to break the lines of Wolves' defence. They were like, mm -mm, not, uh, not today, not in this first, first 45 minutes. You are not breaking our lines. And they did it. We had opportunities, though. Ganacho with a chance. Anthony, who was shit in particular, had a chance as well, but scruffed it because it followed right after the Ganacho chance. Half time went down there. Second off. Ten Hag made one drastic change, one brilliant change, which is bringing on Marcus Rashford for Ganacho. Sorry for playing 45 minutes, but that change was right because Rashford coming on, making a difference. All of a sudden, Manchester United looked better in the second half, going at Wolves at speed and everything until eventually Sir Marcus Rashford. Sir Marcus Rashford feeding the goal, feeding Wolverhampton's ball goal with the ball back in the net. As always, this guy has been in form and this guy came on. Although he didn't start the, the match, he got disciplined. But he told Eric Turner, you know what? You're going to discipline me, but I'm going to score a goal. Because it's all love, baby, you know. Have some of that high fat at the end of the day, you know. Because at the end of the day, you can't just do what you want and think you can get away with it. Not with Eric Ten Hag. But Rashford responded brilliantly, magnificently by scoring a goal. Although he got a second goal and it was ruled offside, which I thought was unfair because I saw... Um, Collins handballed the ball in, in, in the penalty area when we were shouting for a penalty and the referee didn't give it to him because it was ball to hand he couldn't stop it but Mark Trafford couldn't stop this one but unfortunately it was ruled outside but that was it it was full time it was beautiful because Manchester United did what they had to do get the three points and get the fuck out of here you know because going down to that Wolves and Molyneux Stadium has been always difficult it was going to be a difficult batch today but I'm just happy that my team got the three points. And I know that you guys are happy that the boys got the three points. So we can enjoy this New Year's Eve and go into the New Year's not losing and, 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 and enjoy it. Oh, I'm so damn happy. Player-wise today, Aaron Wan-Bissaka played well. And he showed exactly why he should still be in the team. He should still be involved. With the development of Eric Ten Hag, I think Aaron Wan-Bissaka could become a good player. Anthony today was shit, shit with his brother Marshall, Anthony Marshall too, but Rashford in form continues to do what he needs to do and I'm happy about that, Luke Shaw, my god, you making Harry Maguire look like a shit centre back today, the last two games, Luke Shaw has been playing centre back, less centre back because he's left footed, but I showed Harry Maguire how to do it, I know that Martinez will be back into the team but it is what it is, in terms of Bruno as well, Bruno did what he had to do, be productive, get the ball moving, and as well, assist. The given goal with Rashford to get that goal in was brilliant. Man, the match today has to go to Marcus Rashford for coming in and scoring the winning goal as well. I want to know what he did that was wrong. Don't kill the match goes to Anthony Square because both of them was trash and shit. But that has been your match reaction from your boy Ivorian Spice, guys. Let me know who your man the match is. Let me know your thoughts on the match. Let me know who your donkey of the match is. And furthermore, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share and press that notification bell so you know you're the first one to watch as soon as I bring something out. As always, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united because your boy is out and I'm enjoying life. Happy New Year. Boom.